that to give yourself room to play. If you take a close touch, maybe you can still clip it in distance in the air, but you can't drive it if it's under your feet. You've got to get it out of your feet. So the message is from the center back. If I'm a nine and I see the center back get it out of his feet, what's that allowing him to do now? Drive it, right? The IDP program had started about two years ago. The concept was how do we have more contact time for, for our top talents. So kids get here around 9.30, 10 o'clock. They go over the training plan uh, between 10 and 10.15. They go out to train from 10.30 to 11.30. Then they come back, they shower, they have lunch, and then there's a school component from 12.30 to 3.30. Uh, and, then, and then they have team training at, at 4 o'clock to 6. I started IDP last year and like from then to now, I can see the development. The way my game has boosted on the field is just crazy, you know? Those extra hours, it really helps. There's a lot of like important aspects of a striker's game that I didn't have yet, like holding up the ball. And through IDP, like they did a ton of sessions with me with that and it helped tremendously. And just always a ton of advice on everything you do and I just implemented that into my game and it just made my game skyrocket. When Salah came into our life, I was in eighth grade, I think. I was still going to my normal school and I'd have to miss a few training sessions because of it or I'd have to maybe like travel down to a game by myself and miss the bus ride. So Salah definitely has helped a lot to, with just transportation and flexibility, I think is the most important one because I can do schoolwork anywhere, anytime, you know, no matter where I am. And that allows me to get training experiences, go to more games, just do more things that'll only benefit my career. So Sal has been definitely a, a really big help in that regard. It's been a, a really nice synchronistic relationship uh, whereby we can provide that flexibility uh, to, uh, again, to speed up or slow down academic attainment, uh, but to ensure, obviously, they, they get increased contact time with the coaches here at Red Bull and they can really f shut out the noise and focus on the signal with, with what they want to do, which is ultimately scaffolding and building their aspirational real life, their professional life, which is obviously to sign a professional contract. But plan B is well fortified and taken care of. Uh, and again, with a 100% four-year college acceptance rate, uh, we're in good standing to provide that for the scholar-athletes here. We're trying to create epic experiences for them and really provide them with an environment where when, when they're called up to the second team training or the first team training, that they're comfortable. It's that comfort level. You're in the academy building um, and that's where you know your daily training, your daily environment is. But then when you then make the jump over to the second team and the, and the first team, um, it's, it's a big jump. And what we're trying to do is alleviate stressors from their life, which is the unknown, which is going over to the second team and first team building. Um, so if, for example, a thing like lunch, um, then they get to see the coaches from the first and second team and interact with them. And, and the first and second team coaches take a, um, a, real, um, a real attention towards our players, specifically the IGP players and beyond. Um, so these, these sort of experiences really, really facilitate that.